Hi everyone and welcome to this tutorial for the Virtual Robotics Toolkit. Uh, this is the software that you can download to simulate a three-dimensional environment uh, and program the LEGO EV3 bot. Uh, it's a very quick introduction, so just having a look at the software. Once you start the software at the very top, you've got some menu options. Start a new file by clicking this button on the top left. Uh, the next button along is the play button if you want to start the simulation and the stop button if you want to stop the simulation. Settings button here allows you to amend and modify your robot. Um, remember this software is not a robot building kit. Uh, it is just a simulator to test your programs and um, simulate the physics environment. If you want to do some robot building, there is a, an, alter, there's an alternative software by Lego, uh, which is Lego Designer. You can download that software and create models in there by building the robot. So in this software, you will not be able to build a robot. Uh, there's a little score button here, which you can use for some of the uh, preset um, simulations. There's a button to view the EV3 brick. Uh, of course, some of the out outputs you'll get will be displayed on that, and you can also um, check through the settings, etc. Uh, this is if you want to download your programs onto an EV3, and then you've got four buttons here which uh, allow you to see the different various views of your interface. So the last button here is to close the application. Okay, so let's have a look at um, a nice uh, introduction to this with um, some of the main menu options. Uh, as you enter the, for a new program, you've got um, categories of programs here on the top left. So basics is what we're looking at right now. The, there are competitions, uh, first Lego League, another competition, and World, uh, Robots Olympiad, World Robotics Olympiad uh, as another competition. So you'll find in the future more competition, mats, etc., and environments are being uploaded here. So first things first, we're going to look at sandbox mode here. So if you click on that option, uh, you can select the name of your project, press OK. So I'm just going to put sand mo sandbox mode test. Give it a few seconds and you should see your program loading up. And here's, that. here's the environment. You've got the brick loaded up on the top left hand side. You don't have to have this open all the time. You can close it so you can see the environment a bit better. On the right hand side here, we've got some camera control uh, instructions. Use your right click on your mouse to pan your, your view. So you can see a lovely little park that we've got and a sandbox right in the middle of it. Okay. Uh, you can also control the um, orbit by pressing the left um, alt tab. Or if you're using, um, sorry, I've done the wrong one. Uh, if you're using a MacBook, you can press option and right click to rotate around or orbit around and then the control um, right click allows you to truck left and right and then you just saw there I can use the zoom uh, the wheel to zoom in and out of my bot so it's a good it's a good um, tip to to practice with some of these control buttons so you can view the robot from different angles. You can see also that if I um, if I wanted to, I can select the robot, just get it into right view, when I press the play button and move that around on the environment. Okay, so I'll just move the robot there. Uh, in fact, it's probably better if you drive it with the WASD commands on your keyboard. So as you can see, this is a pre-built model of the robot. And there you have a nice, easy interface uh, simulating an EV3 robot uh, in a virtual world. So I'm just going to zoom out a little bit here. And we're going to have a look at the next step, which is to start to program this EV3. Now on the top here, you've got lots of different views with different panels. We're going to go to the split view, which is the one second from the right hand side. And it should bring up the programming panel at the bottom. If not, press function and F8. 
So here we go. That should load up the Microsoft Make Code environment at the bottom. And I'm just going to go back to split view there so I can see the two environments. And here we have it at the bottom here. We've got the makes, uh, Microsoft Make Space environment, uh, Make Code environment at the bottom. So this is a very useful uh, block-based programming language. There is an associated website with it that you can have a look at, uh, which is also makecode.mindstorms.com. Fantastic thing about this website is you can use Blockly to code. You can also use JavaScript to code. And there are lots of lovely tutorials to help you get started. Okay, so there's touch sensor tutorials, color sensor tutorials, uh, ultrasonics, gyro, etc. Okay, so lots of uh, projects there that you can have a look at, line detection tools, object detection programs. So lots of good stuff there to help you get started. What I would suggest is that you have a look at this website for the programming elements. But here is where you can program the actual bot and test it out. So we're just going to do a very simple project for, as an example. So click new project. Give your project a name. Okay, click create. I'm just going to stop my simulation for now. Should see that reset. Okay, so we've got our blocks in our program here. On the left hand side, we've got a simulator for playing the program, and then we've got some menu options here to start programming. We're just going to do a very simple move command. So click on the motors option. We're going to move both motors at the same time. So tank motors B and C. Click and drag that block. And then stick it inside the on start. You've also got forever here if you want to use a combination of two commands. Uh, sorry, combination of commands for, for, a, for a duration, a longer duration. You can use the forever command. Here, we're just going to move it for a set period of time. So we're going to do 50% speed on both motors. And we're going to choose the plus icon and set that to one. So we can see how far the robot will travel on one rotation. Now, when you're ready, press the play icon on the left hand side. And that should see your robot moving forward one rotation with both wheels. You've also got this little model here that appears of your EV3 brick inside the make code environment, uh, just uh, alerting you to what you've got attached to your robot at this particular point in time. So you can see at the bottom, we've got no sensors. And at the top, we've just got two motors. So that's a brief introduction to the virtual robotics toolkit. Hope you found that useful. Uh, please watch my other tutorials so you can learn a little bit more about how this software works and how you can use it to program. Thanks for watching, guys.